Welcome back to News 3 Today. Its purpose is to maintain history, lifelong friendships, and provide service to our community. Next month, the St. Pius X High School Alumni Association will host a two-day event that they call Pius Fest. Pamela Jones is the secretary of the organization. She joins us now with more long time no see. You've been here many, many times before, <laughs> but this was years ago. Years Thank you ago. so much for being here today. Thank you. Thank you for having me. When we talk about St. Pius, we talk about an institution that has a storied history here in our city that started back in 1952, correct? Yes. Tell us a little bit about St. Pius. Well, the planning for St. Pius started in the late 40s. Wow. Um, during the time of segregation, mm -hmm. um, we had separate churches, separate elementary schools, but after it was St. Mary's, St. Benedict's, and St. Anthony's parishes, and uh, because of segregation, um, there was St. Vincent's and St. Bene Benedictine, um, we could not, as black students, attend, so the parishes and the diocese and the parents pushed for a black Catholic high school. Mm -hmm. And it opened in 1952, graduated as the first class in 1955, and then is when the, as the segregation laws changed to integration, our last class was 1971. Yeah, and since that time, it's been many things, a resource center, and now it's Savannah Classical Academy. Academy. Yes. But there is a marker there yes. on the grounds to, to note this historic institution. Yes. There's a marker that was placed um, there a couple of years ago, mm -hmm. and we, as alumni, we were so honored to be there, and um, it was written by one of our own, Dr. Charles Elmore, and uh, it just hit all the points. Yes. Times, dates, places, and people. And it, we were very honored. People came from all over the state to be there of our alumni to see the unveiling. Yes, of course, Dr. Yeah. Elmore, a great historian and yes. educator here. Tell us about your experience there as a student. There are some things I can't tell okay. you, <laughs> but my experience, um, because with us, so many of us knew each other from kindergarten on up, and that first year we met people we had never met before from the three schools, and we just blended, and um, the education, the way it was presented, the staff, uh, the nuns and the moderator, who's generally a priest, also lay teachers. Um, the classical education was, you know, a child's mind is a sponge. So if they had been teaching us about how to grow beans, we would have taken that in. And But more the languages, history, um, English, the sciences, we had everything any other high school in Savannah had. Yeah. My experience was um, camaraderie, fun. I, I can remember being sick and hiding it from my mother because <laughs> I wanted to go to school. It's and like you just had to go. And that connection remains now all these years later. You have an alumni association that's 100 members strong. Yes. Tell us about Pius Fest. What can folks expect? Well, <laughs> Pius Fest, <coughs> excuse me, you never know what to expect. <laughs> but first of all, we are led by our wonderful President Mary Lewis. Mm -hmm. And um, at the Pious Fest, we have great food, great music, great games, a lot of camaraderie, a lot of hugging and kissing, um, mostly a lot of dancing. Okay. So <laughs> <laughs> and the money goes to a great cause for scholarships for yes, students, right? Yes. Okay, now we're running out of time, but okay. we have the information on the screen for folks who are interested in attending the 2024 St. Pius Fest. That's August 17th mm -hmm. at Savannah Classical Academy. And on the 18th, you'll be at Resurrection of Our Lord Church. For more information, call the number on your screen or log on to our website. We'll have it all there. Mrs. Jones, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Stay with us. We'll be right back.